Hi guys, and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Sunday, the 2nd of August. Thanks for joining me. I'm using my deck again for today's reading, the Gregory Scott Tarot. I really love this deck. I'm so pleased with how it came out. So I want to use this for a third day in a row. Let's have a look at what these cards want you to know. So I'm going to choose three here to give you an insight into the day's energy. My readings are for all signs of the Zodiac. They're for everyone who watches. So let's have a look. First card. The Three of Cups. Lovely. The Emperor. Finally, the Hanged Man. Okay, so we have a lot of masculine energy here. The Three of Cups, the Emperor and the Hanged Man, all men in this deck. That in the tarot indicates the energy of really taking something for yourself, grabbing something for yourself, implementing it, listening to your desires, your ambitions, your goals. What is it that you want to achieve and implement? It's all about what role and what action are you going to take in your day to make your environment different? How are you going to change things? So the kind of onus is immediately on you. And the cards are saying that if you want to change things around drastically today, you're going to have to do the changing. You're going to have to put the energy into that. It's not all going to just come to you. So first of all, the Three of Cups. We've got three men celebrating here. They're out in nature. They're enjoying the sunshine, each other's company, friendship, and just being able to rely on one another. It's a support system. So today you may feel a sense of warmth and positivity towards people in your life that you haven't felt lately. So if there are difficult relationships in your life that you haven't wanted to face, today's a really good day to face them because you'll start to see the best in other people. You're going to give people the benefit of the doubt. So a friendship that may have had a little bit of conflict in it lately, you know, sometimes you'll find that you, you address the conflict and you're very stern and unforgiving. And other times you'll you'll be much more willing to let things slide. And today, you're willing to let things slide. So find the balance there. You know, if, if a relationship has gone so sour that you don't even want to face that other person, today is a really good day to face them and to reconnect. If there's someone who just takes advantage of you all the time and kind of pulls the wall over your eyes and every time you walk away, you're like, how did, I, how did he talk me into that again? Like, I didn't want to do that. Then avoid this kind of social situation because you are going to see the best in other people. Use that to your advantage. Use it to find a, a sense of being able to reconnect rather than, oh, I see the best in everyone else so they can all take advantage of me. Okay, so if you struggle with boundaries, make sure that you have those in place today. The other thing is that you can really rely on people to be there for you. So if you've asked for support and you expect that support from your friends and family, it's really likely that they'll come through and that not only are you going to be supported, you'll feel a real sense of strength and other people carrying their weight and kind of lightening the load. The Emperor is the fourth card of the Major Arcana. He is the father figure. He's the boss. He's the creator of the family here. He's an engineer. He's building this abbey. So this is a guy who has a vision. He sees it through independently. He wants to have measurable, tangible results. We've got Taurus there. And all of this is very grounded and earthy. So the emperor is actually able to take action in a physical way. And he really feels entitled to impose himself in, in situations. Um, so for instance, it's, you know, if you're at a wedding and you know either the, the bride or the groom and um, it's time for toasts and things like that, with the emperor energy, he would immediately get up, whether he's the father of the bride or not, he would get up and say, you know, I have something to say here. And it probably would be something positive and useful that he would say in that speech because he's all about putting himself into the limelight because he has something tangible and valuable and meaningful 
to offer other people that he's in control of. So the emperor is always a guy who gets things done. It's that ability to focus and to identify things that you like and want for yourself and actually having the courage and the presence of mind to then do that. So together with the Three of Cups, your relationships are really, really good. And that then can often lead to what is it that you want next in your relationships. So asserting yourself in relationships and saying, this is what I want out of this relationship, or I'd like the two of us to go into business together, or I think the value in this situation lies in, I don't know, doing a group photo and sending it to a friend in hospital to cheer them up. Whatever occurs to you in relationships or when it comes to new projects that you can see through or you can actually get off the ground, it's really important to honor what comes in on this day because it's not just some sort of flash in the pan here today, gone tomorrow idea or relationship that's in your life. It's actually something that you can you can really build something wonderful with if you take charge and control of your own feelings and how they relate to another person or to another thing in your life. If you feel the sense of, hey, I could actually exercise some control here. I can use my experience to get this off the ground. I can see this in my mind's eye. I really want to plan a new project or I want to apply for a new um, business loan, start a new business. Anything like that is really underpinned by the practical, long-lasting nature of the emperor. So if you start something today, relationship or a thing, it's really likely that that is going to stay in your life for a long time. And then we've got the hanged man. The hanged man is someone who's been punished. When he is, things turn around for him. He sees the light and he's able to build on that new security, that new insight that he's got. So the emperor is kind of post the hanged man. So once the criminal has been um, re-educated here, he sees what he really wants out of life and he has the means to actually do that. And that's what the emperor is. So listen to your insights and then use the abundance of energy that you're given today because you'll feel much more energetic than usual. You have a lot of this masculine fiery energy in you. You have um, Aries and Taurus saying, what is it that you want? What is it that you can take charge of? And what is it that you can build and support in connection with other people and by yourself? That's the lesson of the hanged man. Before he's kind of turned upside down, I put the little mandrake root in here because it's thinking that the physical world has any power over you. That's what's going to get you in trouble. And even if you have made choices that have landed you in difficult circumstances or there's, there's certain things that you have to unravel before you can move on to something else, there's always help available to you. You can always see things differently at any moment. You can always start your day over again and say, do you know what, this is what I used to believe. Is there another way of looking at this? And just by asking yourself that question, you see things differently today and you can see where the security lies. And that's why I'm saying, please pay attention to any new ideas or conversations that you overhear or new notions that kind of pop into your head that seem really to promise a long-term positive addition to your future don't dismiss those because it's by seeing that you can actually do translate that from being an abstract kind of idea a notion in your head and you can use all of your muscle to make it a real thing in the physical world just ask for help so if you don't see things as opportunities, if all of your relationships are super strained, if you don't feel like you can do anything independently on this day at all, then that would be very similar to the opposite of what the energy is like. If you're in that place, then just say, do you know what, universe, angels, higher self, ascended masters, whoever wants the best for me and whoever is out there listening to me right now, 
help me see this situation differently. And as soon as you do that, you'll start to see the light in your existing circumstances. So, so you'll be able to get some distance from them and to say, hey, actually, I could do something wonderful with that. that that's a really fab opportunity. But don't feel like you have to do everything yourself. You have to kind of build your way. Well, you don't have to build yourself up, but there are certain things that you can strengthen before you put yourself in a situation where all the pressure is entirely on you. So you can ask for help from friends or family, from spirits. You can ask to see things more clearly or to find ways of creating structure and stability in your life. And that's what this day is all about. But especially when it comes to those topics, the angels and your guides are really there on hand to kind of say, here's an opportunity for you to thrive. Go this way. Try talking to this person. Jot down those ideas that you're having now. File them somewhere and look at them on Monday morning where you're implementing them. Number-wise, we've got 12 and 4, that's 16, and 3 is 19, 1 and 9 is 10, 10 reduces to 1 in numerology, and 1 is the magician. The magician is the person who realizes that he has control over everything on planet Earth, and all he needs to do is imagine it in his mind's eye, and sooner or later it will manifest. So, you're able to create magic on planet Earth, all you need to figure out is what's going on inside your head and what it is that you want to create on the planet that would bring you a sense of joy and connection, a sense of pride in what you're able to build and create by yourself. And the nice side effect is that it's not only going to build you up in your mind's eye, it's also going to give you security in your practical life here on planet Earth. So take action based on the amazing insights you get today and um, ask for help, give help if it's requested. Make sure you connect with other people and, you, and have a good time, most of all. I hope you have a fabulous Sunday. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, just click on book your reading to order your reading with me. I use the tarot, astrology and numerology in my personal reading. So if you have any questions, just get in touch for a reading. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please. Hit the subscribe button and share it online. I hope you have an amazing Sunday and I'll speak to you tomorrow.